Hey Journey, it's where y'all been. It's Unique and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to come on for this Financial Friday. It, this is actually going to be a new series that I'm doing on my channel where I talk about my life, my money, and my finances with y'all. After I did my car buying series, it really just pushed me in the direction of being able to share with you guys my financial decisions, making processes, as well as my journey to becoming financially free. I have actually been on the Dave Ramsey plan since around 2018, 2019 or so, maybe even earlier. But I have been kind of doing Dave-ish and I haven't really been gung-ho about the plan very consistently. But now I'm in a position where I'm really moving more so into his methods and following through with the steps. As y'all know, I recently did purchase a car and with purchasing that car, I did take out an auto loan. So I have now added one more debt into my baby step two. But let's go back. So in his plan, he has seven baby steps and currently I am on baby step two. But before you get there, you'll go through zero and one. So baby step zero is you just getting current on all of your expenses. So if you have any bills in your life that's past due, if you're behind on things, if you're underwater essentially with your month to month expenses, the zero step is to get current on everything. Getting current is being able to pay each of your expenses on a month to month basis without falling behind or without running out of money. So once you've established that, you'll then move to baby step one. So baby step one on the plan is to save a beginner emergency fund of $1,000 and to have that just in case an emergency happens. And when I say emergency, I mean like an actual emergency, not things that you know that's coming that you didn't plan for ahead of time, but real emergencies. As y'all know, I also had money saved for moving out. That wouldn't be money that I would consider a part of my emergency fund. That is something that I have set aside differently. So due to the fact that my car broke down, I had to adjust my baby plan steps. I end up pulling a little bit of that money from my emergency fund to take care of some of the unexpected costs of my car breaking down. So for me, in that specific situation, I was doing different things that I wouldn't do before when I didn't have a car. Taking an Uber unexpectedly because I did not have that in my budget because I just assumed that I would have my car. Getting different inspections done on my car is something that I used a little bit of that money towards. But beyond having the beginner $1,000 emergency fund, you can make different sinking funds. So a sinking fund is something that you know that is coming that you plan for ahead of time. These are like little pockets of savings that you can work on over the course of however your pay frequency works you'll basically use the different sinking funds some examples of a sinking fund would be saving for christmas birthdays if y'all are in a lot of debt dave ramsey doesn't recommend going on vacations but if you do have a trip coming up and you're going to do dave ish then you could do a sinking fund for a trip that's coming up i had a sinking fund for moving out expenses if you're expecting a baby you can make a sinking fund for that car repairs car maintenance different things that happen throughout the year that you know is coming and you can plan ahead for it due to the fact that my car broke down i had to take that sinking fund for moving out and put it towards getting a car admittedly i did not have a designated sinking fund for me getting a car so i had to use a different one that i felt like wasn't top priority to be able to have a down payment let me tell y'all how i was able to save a thousand dollars within a couple of months time using the money jar method i'm actually on baby step two and i'll get more into my debt story probably on another video in financial friday this month i think march is a really really good time to talk about finances because 
money march march madness and you can really get intense on your financial goals in this month i just want to get this video out to y'all as it relates to the savings portion if y'all have something that's coming up and you're like I want a thousand dollars how can i save a thousand dollars this has been a proven method that's helped me this is actually a jar that i get lemonade in and this is my money jar i manifest over this jar i put cash in this jar this is just a manifesting tool that helps me visually see money every single day and since i started this process i can definitely say that opportunities for money have been presenting themselves to me more often and I really find that it works. I started using the money jar method, I believe in October. I'll insert the exact date on the video, but I've managed to fill about three of these so far. So the first two fills that I did with this jar, I was able to save $1,200. So basically how I was able to fill the two jars and get $1,200 was using all of the cash that I made from my tips in bartending and serving and putting that cash into the jar. So I wouldn't touch that cash. I think that throughout the course of me doing this, I would say in total, I probably pulled $60 from the jar. One time I did help a family member out who was in need. And then another time I used it to tip my tow driver who bought my car back um, after it broke down. So I just wanted to like sew into their lives. So I went ahead and pulled from the jar and you know, just sent it with good faith that where the money is going is gonna be a benefit to those individuals. And so I did pull it out for that. But I have not pulled out any other cash under any circumstances from this jar and I managed to be able to save a thousand two hundred something dollars. I would just basically live off of my credit card tips that I got from my job. At that time I was only working one job y'all and I was working part time. And I know some of y'all are probably like really like you was able to save over a thousand dollars working part time just by using the cash from your tips. 100% any cash that I got like I never went to the bank and got cash from my checks or anything I just got the tips the cash tips and as soon as I would come home I would come to my money jar and put the money in here and I would say different affirmations if y'all want me to do like an affirmation video giving y'all some different ideas about money manifesting affirmations that I use for this jar then I can definitely share some of those with y'all in future videos I'm actually really proud of it working as a server and a bartender I get cash in my hand generally every time I have a now granted there's high times and there's slow times as to how money flows and everything like that but I just made a commitment to myself that I will use the money jar to be able to reach my goals as it related to moving out and so I wanted to have just this really simple easy way to be able to save money to move out and not have the anxiety of seeing it come out of my bank account I know that this money exists and I just keep in my heart the purpose as to what this money is for and I pray over it I manifest over it I put good good energy into the jar each and every time and I know that what's coming for me is definitely from my diligence my determination and I feel like if y'all can find some income opportunity where you can get cash in hand so if that's working in a restaurant doing deliveries being a driver or anything like that then this would be a really really easy way for y'all to fill jars even if you just start with coins coins also add up i just feel like i have expanded beyond the point of coins if y'all look closely it's not just ones i have 20s in here sometimes i get a hundred dollar bills fifty dollar bills it really just depends five tens it's honestly a little bit of everything and this has really been a proven method for me to work sometimes i can eyeball it and kind of guess how much money is in here but usually my guesses are under i never have been able to guess the exact amount of money that's been in the jar what's been in here has actually surprised me the way i put it in here is in no particular order but sometimes i'll take like a stick and like push it down that way i can get more money in here and i know if i fold it 
it in a certain type of way, I can really stuff it better. I don't know, I just stuff it in there, make my affirmations, and pretty much breathe into it, ground into it, and go. But it's a really, really easy process. It's one of my proven tools to help me save generous amounts of money at one time what i ended up doing was recording a money count video and i wasn't sure where i wanted to put it but i'll just go ahead and include a clip in this video so that y'all can see me actually touching and feeling the money of my first money jar that i created during this method and the amount of money that i was able to save in the first round of filling a jar i definitely could have got way more money in there but i started to get a little impatient and i was just curious to know honestly y'all how much i had saved so okay journey so that is my method as to how I save a thousand dollars using the money jar as a manifestation tool this has been something that has been proven for me to work numerous times I'm actually on my third jar now and I'm really really excited about how much money I'm gonna be able to save so if y'all are out there and y'all are wanting to save any amount of money definitely consider this money jar tool it really really works y'all just have to have that determination that diligence that tunnel vision about whatever it is that your goal is make sure that y'all have a big why a big reason a big purpose as to why it is that you want to save a specific amount of money and that will be your motivation to keep going no matter what thank you all for joining me for financial fridays this has been a segment on how I'm able to save $1,000 using the money jar method. I have so many more videos coming up for y'all in the Fridays to come. I really hope that this is something that y'all can find as a benefit towards your life and something that can help y'all reach your financial peace as well. If y'all are interested in hearing my debt-free journey and how I use the debt snowball method to pay off debt really, really important intensely and really really quickly then leave a comment in the comment section down below and try to get this video to at least 50 likes and i will definitely add that video to this lineup in this series okay as we get more of these out i will make a playlist for y'all so that y'all can get all into my business about my money my finances and my life i hope that y'all was able to take away something from this video that can help you in your own life to save money and have financial peace consider subscribing if you haven't already turn on your post notifications that way y'all can always be on the up and up as to the next time that i post another video leave me suggestions in the comment section down below as to things that y'all want to see about my money and my life and i'll see if i can get that out for y'all i hope that y'all are able to attain financial peace in your life and give generously and live like nobody else Thank y'all so much for tuning in and I will see y'all next week for another finance video.